Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I will play with the winter birdhouse set from my own collection and by the way the whole collection is back in stock so you will be able to find it in your favorite shops. And although this set is designed for winter and it comes with many ties that can be used for Christmas cards, however it is very versatile and today I'm going to use it to create a very elegant looking wedding card. One of my recipes for getting an elegant look is to keep everything quite simple and almost monochromatic. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to mainly stay with whites, vanilla and gold. So I am die cutting my house here using vanilla cardstock. And this die doesn't only die cut but it also creates a lovely embossed design on the house. So just as it was with the die and the paper on top, I'm uh, creating the sandwich for embossing. I run it once through my die cutting machine. And with all the lighting that I have here, it's really hard to catch on camera. But make sure to check the photos at the end of this video where you will be able to see the lovely design that you get. Then I did use those Nestability dies. These are the Essentia label ones. And the set comes with dies that die cut or give a decorative line of dots. I absolutely love the shape and I'm going to use the larger one to create a shaped cut out of it in a bit. For now I'm going to work on the panel and for that panel I went with white. I'm going to accent my vanilla house with uh, details of gold. So I'm going to die cut the um, roof one more time out of gold cardstock. And then with my scissors I'm going to separate that top part so that I can stick it on top of my main house. And you will find that on metallic cardstock that the embossed design of the house really pops. So I used my berry art glue to put that down and now I'm going to work with the sweet birds. This is another of my sets. It comes with six different designs of birdies as well as a big branch and leaves. I'm going to use two of them and I made sure that I used two that they face each other. I did die cut them once from white cardstock and one more time from gold cardstock so that I can uh, mix and match white and gold. For every bird you get the main body as well as a belly and uh, the wing and since I die cut it twice, once from wh white and once from gold, I ended up having four different birds. I'm going to use the golden ones, the ones with the golden body, since they are going to contrast with the background better and I'm keeping the white ones for another project. For the golden ones I didn't add the white bellies, I thought that they look better this way, but they still have that uh, lovely embossed area on the belly that gives that extra something. Now you know that I do love dimensions, so I did use foam tape at the back of my house, I'm going to place it on top of my panel, and then on top I'm going to pop the birdies. I end up having that clean and simple look. The foam tape at the back of the die cuts helps them pop against the white background, although I keep all the colors very close and similar to each other, but uh, I feel like with that touch of extra gold on all those die cuts really help that design to look even more elegant. So you see here I have one more panel that I cut out from uh, gold cardstock and when I place it at the back you will be able to see that gold peeking through all those dots. It really adds a touch of elegance. I'm going to use my berry art glue. I absolutely love this glue. I have been using it for a couple of weeks now and I'm super happy with it. It doesn't clog on me that the needle really does the trick. Plus it doesn't smell at all. It grabs really quickly and it's super super fine at the tip. Finally I have one more extra panel, exactly the same as the front one, and this is going to be the inside flap of my card. So I'm going to bring in my scoring board, I'm going to score at the top. It can be half an inch, three quarters of an inch, an inch even, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to stick that on top of the front panel. I used my double sided tape at the top, and uh, of course you can use your glue if you want to. I'm going to peel it off and place one on top of the other. And I have a shaped card ready to go and you can see it from the side. Now I can leave it as it is, just add the sentiment or I can add some extra embellishments on my card. I'm going to add some flowers and some leaves. Now the flowers are from my spring birdhouse set while the leaves are from uh, the birdies set that go along with that branch. So I'm just going to add some uh, uh, dimension on the white flower. Again I'm not adding any new colors, I'm keeping the color scheme the same, vanilla, white, gold. 
and I'm sticking one flower with three leaves to decorate the top of my house. Again, if you want to keep that card design very elegant looking, avoid adding too many embellishments. For the center of the flowers, you can uh, go with a golden gem if you want. I just added uh, golden little pieces. And then finally, I'm going with a simple congratulations so that I white embossed on that golden cardstock. I'm going to add a thin strip of foam tape at the back and pop it underneath my house. I did uh, intentionally left some uh, white space under there so that it can fit my sentiment. And here is a close-up look on the card that I made for today using the winter die set from my Bird Houses Through the Season collection by Spellbinders. I want to thank you all so much for the amazing feedback and the response on my collection. It was amazing and so exciting to find out that the collection sold out in just a couple of days. But just keep in mind that everything is back in stock, waiting for you to grab them. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired and I wish you all a lovely day.